In this example, we'll just create an audio signal in Python and then we will filter it with our previous low pass filter that we use the Kaiser window with beta equals to 8. So here I'm just importing uh, some libraries. I'm going to use uh, matplotlib and numpy and scipy signal. I decided not to use Libros at this time because um, instead of using uh, music, I'm creating some a signal with some tones. So we have this fundamental uh, frequency of 220 hertz. And then I'm doing just some um, fade in, fade out. So our signal is a bit smoother. And then I'm just adding some harmonics in high frequencies. And this is how our signal sounds. Well, when we look at this frequency um, spectrum, we see that, that we have our frequency of 220 hertz here and then we have all these frequencies here above uh, 8 kilohertz so we are using a 32 kilohertz of sampling frequency so our our Nyquist frequency is 16 kilohertz and uh, that would be equals to pi and uh, half pi would be approximately 8 kilohertz so we have all these frequencies over uh, 8 kilohertz so we will low pass it and we will take our Kaiser window, the low pass design, uh, length uh, equals to 32, and it's the same what we did in the previous uh, tutorial. And here now we have our filtered signal. So for example, if we're doing downsampling when n is equal to 2, uh, so we would have up to 8 kilohertz and we would like to filter out everything uh, above 8 kilohertz so maybe we could use this filter and we see that we have indeed above the um, half pi everything is um, attenuated so we observe that the beginning frequency uh, 1.5 we have indeed much attenuation and we can listen mm. So this is the original with the high frequency components and here is the low pass version. And now we can downsample it by a factor of n equals to 2 including the removal of zeros. So this is what we are doing here. We are downsampling by a factor of 2 and this is the frequency response. So observe that now we obtain a stretched spectrum. So this part here is very similar to this part here. And we can listen to uh, this uh, downsample. Mm -hmm. We see uh, it's muffled, it's the same, but now at half the sampling rate. If we want to uh, upsample it again, we can use this uh, indexing trick and now just on the receiving side we are effectively inserting a zero after each sample so observe that in this way we can avoid the function down sample or up sample which makes it clear to see and check what happens so here now we have the up sampled version of our signal and now we have the shrieking and periodic continuation of the spectrum so we have this aliasing components at high frequencies so this was the low pass version downsampled now we upsample by inserting zeros and then we have these here so we have all these aliasing components so this part is effectively this part here so we have the shrinking and we can listen it's difficult to hear aliasing here because um, with my headphones or with my computer speaking, it's very hard to reproduce to reproduce uh, these high frequencies. But the aliasing components are here, and we must get rid of them. So we will low pass these results. So now we will low pass again using the same filter, and this is the frequency response. We're using a signal SciPy signal frequency. We're convolving with the filter, doing the same what we did. 
and observe that now we remove the 80s in component at high frequencies and when we listen sound the same as the lower sampling rate but now at the higher sampling rate of 32 kilohertz sometimes if you use different audio uh, signal to test you'll find that there could be differences due to not sufficiently attenuated aliasing.